Hey everybody, what's going on? Welcome back to another video from JM Motors Unlimited. Today I'm going to be showing you exactly how to change the air filter on a Honda 185S. I'm going to show you how to take the air filter out because it's kind of hard to get to if you've never done it before and how to oil the air filter and put it back in. So this is on my 1982 Honda 185S and this is the same on any year 185s and pretty much the same on the 200s and stuff but if you can do it on one you're pretty much going to be able to do it on any because it's the same basic process just take it out and oil it and take the old out oil the new one and put it in so on this one to get it off there's a bolt there and two bolts here for the bracket and a clamp here you gotta take off and a clamp here you gotta take off and that's all you gotta do to take the air box out you cannot look at the air filter or do anything to the air filter without taking the air box completely out that's one thing i don't really like about the 185s but ain't really nothing you can do about it so all three of these bolts are 10 millimeters which makes it easy and the clamps one on this bike one's a flat and one's a phillips but i think from the pretty sure from the factory they're all phillips but this one has one that's been changed so there's no telling what yours will be So whenever you get your air box on the workbench, it looks like this. It's got this bolt in the back. That's how you get the air filter out. And it's also a 10 millimeter. And I just want to say, whenever you are taking it out, be very careful with the air box and all the boots and clamps and everything. Because you can't buy them new anymore. You got to find them used somewhere. So after you get that out, you just pull the entire air filter out. And this one, as a matter of fact, has an old sock wrapped around it. So that'll show you just what you can find on an old bike. Somebody took and wrapped a sock around the air filter element. And... It is supposed to have another plate that goes here on the back of the air filter. I'll show you what I mean. But this one is missing. And I've never been able to find one new. So usually what I do if I'm missing one, which my other bike's missing one too, I just take a zip tie and put around it until it squeezes down tight against this and doesn't let any air in around the edge. I want to just talk about the kind of air filter you need to use and some bikes come with like the paper air filters like in a truck and some come with foam ones all the hondas that i've ever had or seen have a foam one from the factory and i've used the factory ones from the factory they use uni they're not the regular red unis they're yellow i think on most of them but uh, I've used the factory ones and just the cheap foam Walmart ones. Well, not actually Walmart, Amazon. The cheap uh, Amazon ones. And I've seen people that use K&N. And of all the air filters I've ever used or worked on bikes that had different ones, the Uni air filters filter by far the best out of any air filter I've ever seen. 
But the catch is for the unis, you have to oil them or they won't filter worth a flip. But the unis are made to be high flow, like the K&Ns, but they filter way better than a K&N. So, that's just my preference. You can use whatever you want, but I like to use unis and they're not really, to me, they're worth it for that little bit of extra money. They're not even really expensive. Like, I've seen them, for, I looked up for the 185S and I found some for like $5. I think this one was 16 off of eBay. So, to me it's worth it for $16. And you know that your motor's being protected really well. So, I'm going to go ahead and show you how I oil it. I got, oh, actually, an O'Reilly's Frisbee they gave us one day we were in there. And I'm just going to pour my air filter oil in the Frisbee. And then work it all into the filter. And then massage it in. And just let it drain. And then put it back in. And my oil, you can use just any foam air filter oil, but I got the Uni because I was ordering stuff from a place that sold the Uni air filter oil. So that's what I'm going to use because it's not too expensive. And you can even use, if you don't have anything and you really need to go ahead and do it, you can use just a light motor oil. Like, I think my friend used like a 508 motor oil. He uses the, just regular motor oil. But... Just find a motor oil. You could even use like 1040, I guess. But I like to use just the foam air filter oil. And this also comes in a spray can. Just a regular, like a spray paint can. Only it's air filter oil. That kind's more expensive, but it's a little easier to do. So I'm going to go ahead and start oiling it. So I'm just going to take it. I don't think you have to shake it, but I'm going to shake it. I've never opened this. I've never used it yet since I bought it. But you want to make sure your frisbee is clean. And you just, I'm just going to pour some in here. About like that. And you want to make sure your hands are clean and your frisbee is clean. But they'll be oily and you want to try not to get this stuff on your clothes because it's oily and kind of hard to get off but I'm just going to take it and work it into this air filter So I got it all oiled, got it all on the inside and out, and you can see it's starting to drain out of the bottom. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to take this extension, and I'm going to prop this frisbee up on this extension. I'm going to do it the other way so it'll be a little higher. And then all the oil will drain to this side while the air filter is draining, then I'm going to pour it back into the bottle. That's why I wanted it to be clean, then my oil would still be clean and I can reuse it because this, bo this bottle, I used about half of it, but a lot of it will come out of the air filter. But I think that's a 16 ounce bottle, I think it was like $8. You want to be sure not let it not let it get in the sun if you can. Don't let it dry in the sun or drain in the sun because that's really bad for the foam air filters. And 
if you don't let it drain or if you don't let it drain long enough it's not going to be bad for it it'll just drain out while it's in the bike and it'll drip out your little drain hole in the bottom of your air box and just leak all over your bike and you won't get to reuse the oil so i always let it drain a couple hours so while i'm waiting on it to drain i'm actually going to go wash another one of my three wheelers and i gotta milk the cow so i'll get back with y'all whenever i'm finished letting it drain so i let it drain about 30 minutes and i'm gonna go ahead and put it back on the air filter element and go ahead and put it back in the bike so this filter is kind of tricky to get back on this thing because it's not a perfect fit they make it fit tight so it's pretty hard especially if it's oiled like this but you just gotta stretch it around there So you can see whenever I'm squeezing on it, trying to pull it on, all the excess oil that's coming out from squeezing it. So it was pretty tight to get on, but I finally got the air filter on the uh, metal piece, the inner element. So now I'm going to try to get it back in. This element, this air filter is smaller around than the other air filters I bought and I'm not exactly sure why that is but it was pretty hard to get on but just be patient and you can do it so I'm gonna try to get it back on there it's bigger here yeah, there's not as much room as my other one so hopefully it'll go in this air box I'm not exactly sure what the deal is this is about how my other one fit. So I'm putting it on the wrong way, so that ain't good. It goes like this. And the tricky part is getting this stud lined up with this hole. There it is. You just got to move it around until you can find it. And there we go. That is a installed Honda 185S air filter. So, whenever you tighten up this nut, it tightens the air filter and seals the gap at the other end. You don't want to over tighten it, but you don't want to leave it loose. So it'll still drain a little bit while it's on the bike because when you squeeze it, it still has oil come out so it'll still drain and drip a little bit but most of it came out while I had it on the workbench and you want to be sure and get all the oil off of this flange because that'll help it that'll make the boot slip off and then you'll be sucking unfiltered air in your motor.
So that's all there is to it. Just take it out, take the old one out, then take and put your new one in. And if you just have, if you have a good air filter, you can just clean it. Just take it out the same way and just clean it with like some dish soap and some and water and then just sit it on your workbench and let it dry don't put it in the sun because that's bad for them and it's not good for them to sit in the sun just let it dry and then just re-oil it and put it back in the bike the same way and it work, works perfect and I'm not sure that why that one was hard to get in my other 185 is it was a little bit too big I had to put a zip tie around the back of it to keep it uh, squished in to the inner element to uh, keep it sealed but that one that one fit good it was actually a little tight but I'm not exactly sure why that was but I guess just a different gear or something but I'm just gonna take this uh, good oil that drained out of the filter and pour it back in my bottle so if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and you can also go check out JM Motors Unlimited on Facebook and Instagram. So thanks for watching.